Hello, welcome back. Uh, in the last segment, we used the graphs inequality as a constraint and show that um, if we only allow to code one sample at a time, then it's impossible to achieve a rate lower than the shallow entropy. Or in other words, we cannot compress the source smaller than the size of given by the channel entropy hx. And then the natural question will be, uh, will it be possible for us to compress more or even compress at a rate lower than the channel entropy if we are allowed to handle more than one symbol at a time? In other words, I will have again this discrete memoryless source, but instead of handle one sample at a time, the encoder will just consider one block of of sam uh, a sequence of k sample or a block of k samples, and then code them, handle them at the same time, and decode them back into a block of k samples. It turns out that we cannot probably we can uh, code a little bit better, but we cannot code lower uh, at a rate lower than the shallow entropy. Because we can simply use what we learned last time, what well, the main trick is we can just treat this block of symbol, block of samples, as just one super symbol, right? So if we consider this, consider this as one super symbol, then uh, by what we learned last time, we can at most uh, compress the source uh, to uh, the size of h x to the k. But what is h x to the k, or h x k? Uh, that would be equal to, let's see, let me just write h x1, x2, and so on to x k. And this is equal to the expectation of minus log p x1 up to x k. Now we know that uh, the source is this good man this uh, is memoryless, and therefore like uh, p x one up to x k the joint entropy is actually just a multiple of indi uh, sorry the joint probability is just a multiple of the individual probability p x one p x two and so on up to p x k. And then I can just write it as minus log px1 minus log px2 and so on minus log pxk. And since the expectation is linear, it's just equal to expectation minus log px1 minus uh, plus expectation minus log px2 and so on, plus expectation minus log pxk, and that's nothing but just equal to hx1 plus hx2 and so on, up to hsk. And because of the fact that the source is uh, identically distributed, uh, we will just have hx1 is equal to hx2, and so on equal to hsk, so therefore this is simply equal to khx. So what does we learn? We need uh, hxk bits, that is equal to khx bits, to sample, to code uh, this block of k symbol at a time. So therefore, per sample wise, the maximum, the lowest weight we can compress is just hxk over k, or just equal to hx again. So now we can see that even though if we are going to, even though if we are allowed to handle like uh, a block of k symbol at a time, it's still impossible to compress at a weight lower than the um, channel entropy. And because of the fact that this k is arbitrary, we can choose k 
to be any number, you can just take k to infinity, and still, uh, we cannot compress the source at a weight lower than h x bits per sample. So this essentially so that, um, for any encoding scheme, um, it's impossible to compress the source, a discrete memory source, at a weight lower than the channel entropy.